The way we eat has profound consequences for our own health, but also for the environment and for animals. And every day, each of us makes choices about what we support. And the way we spend our dollars is very important. Uh, unfortunately, most people have been spending their dollars in a way that's been supporting an unhealthy and an inhumane and an unsustainable system. The factory farming industry generally argues that it is producing cheap food that is affordable to a large number of people. Um, but what that argument ignores is the fact that there are many external costs associated with our current cheap food system, mass production system. And when you start weighing in those costs, this is a very expensive fact system. You know, we have enormous health care costs, we have enormous environmental costs, we have enormous suffering and, 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 and horrible things happening in rural communities. And then you have billions of animals that are being treated horrendously. So when we start looking at the full picture, uh, this cheap food system is actually not very cheap at all. So the fact, so what, when I speak to agribusiness people today, I start off by acknowledging that, that farmers are hardworking people, that they intend to do well, that they feed the world, and that is something that is a very admirable goal. But the key question that needs to be asked is, what is the best way to feed the world? Is it by growing grains and then harvesting those grains and then feeding those to animals and then raising the animals, then ultimately slaughtering the animals? Or is it by just growing plant foods directly and eating, eating those directly? And the answer, when you look at all the empirical evidence, is that it makes a lot more sense to be growing plants and consuming those directly instead of growing plants and feeding them to animals and then slaughtering the animals. And when you grow and eat plants directly, you're cutting out lots of other problems too, including manure, including an enormous amount of fossil fuels, including health problems that come from eating too many animal foods, which we're seeing in our country today. Unfortunately, there are not adequate laws in place to protect us against factory farms. Um, the agribusiness industry is very influential. They've been able to exempt themselves from basic humane laws, as well as from environmental laws and labor laws and even antitrust laws. So you have an industry that wields undue influence in Washington and in state capitals all over the country. Now, this is an industry that needs to be regulated. Uh, they've shown that go without proper oversight that they will pollute the environment, they will destroy water resources, they will create all kinds of havoc in rural communities. We have neighbors who are suffering because of these factory farms. We have property values that are going down. We have uh, fly infestations. We have horrible stench that these people have a hard time enduring. Um, and you, you, know, you have an industry that requires so many resources in order to survive. And rather than paying the fair price, the fair market price for those resources, they oftentimes are subsidized and pay far less than the fair market value for water, for example. Or in the case of land, uh, they oftentimes pay less than their fair share of taxes. In rural areas where you have these factory farms, you have industries that are exploiting resources, exploiting people, damaging the environment. And you don't have the same sort of tax base and same sort of tax support that you would need for healthcare services, uh, for environmental cleanups, and for basic services. So you have these factory farms that move in and they exploit and extract value and leave a mess in their wake. It's important for the government to recognize that the factory farming industry is a serious problem and it should stop subsidizing it because right now um, USDA spends billions of dollars every year and much of that goes to support this industrial factory farming system. So first we need to stop supporting this unhealthy system and then we need to start making it accountable for its uh, misdeeds. And if a factory farm pollutes the environment, it should be required to clean it up. It shouldn't be able to walk away and leave it for the neighbors or for some government entity to come in and clean up. Factory farms need to be accountable, and the government has to play a role in making them accountable. And it's also important for factory farms to be transparent. Right now, people are buying products from these factory farms that are appalling, and if people knew what they were buying, they wouldn't support it. So a big part of what needs to happen is there needs to be more transparency, and people need to be able to make informed choices about what they're eating. I think if people knew what was happening, they would change completely the way they're eating. Um, we would have a revolution in our food system. I think most people ultimately want to make food choices that are aligned with their own values, and they don't want to support a system that is cruel and inhumane to animals. 
I think also most people want to make food choices that are aligned with their own interests, and they want to eat food that is healthy and isn't going to make them sick. Ironically, today, people are supporting a factory farm soup food system where they're buying products from animals that are treated very badly, and they don't even want to look at it. So there's this uh, inconsistency between people's values and their behaviors in terms of the inhumane treatment of animals. But there's also an inconsistency in terms of what people are eating and their own health. In this country, we're eating food that's making us sick. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. We should be eating food that makes us healthy and makes us feel good, not eating food that is making us sick and is contributing to the top killers in this country, such as heart disease and cancer. So what people can do is support local farming, should support plant-based agriculture instead of animal agriculture, should get to know farmers. You know, one of the reasons we have so many problems is that there's a disconnect between producers and consumers. And because of that disconnect, consumers are purchasing foods from facilities that are cruel and unhealthy and horrible. If people knew what they were supporting, they would shift. And I think getting to know where your food comes from is very important. And that's why going to farmers markets and getting involved with community supported agriculture programs is so positive because it allows uh, consumers to get to know where their food comes from, uh, to make choices that they can feel good about, that are healthy, that are sustainable over time.